Vine Kids, hello! I'm so happy that you are joining us for the live group. You are going to love today's lesson. Are you ready? Here's the icebreaker. Hi everyone! Look at what I have here. It's an apple. And I also have apple seeds. If I sow these seeds, am I going to reap a watermelon? Of course not! I will reap apples, won't I? Today we will talk about God's seed. I'm sure you're curious to find out more about this. Let's learn today's principle. That is right. Today we are talking about God's seed. God's seed is the life of God we receive when we believe and confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And our principle for today is, it's not enough to be good, you must be born again. Do you want to learn it with us? Okay, kids, you need to repeat it, but only when I tell you. Let's go. If you're wearing blue, repeat with me. It is not enough to be good, you must be born again. If you are wearing pink, it is not enough to be good, you must be born again. Uh, if you have brown hair, it is not enough to be good, you must be born again. If you have blonde hair, it is not enough to be good, you must be born again. If you have brown eyes, it's not enough to be good, you must be born again. Well done, kids! Do you know it now? Well done on learning today's principle. Are you ready to praise and worship God? Don't get distracted, focus on God. We are going to sing about receiving Jesus, who is the seed of God. Jesus came from heaven and died for all your sins. He is risen, he is alive. And if you invite him in, he will come and live inside you. Every sin will be forgiven. And then you will be saved. God, he loves me, yes, I know. But how sad. might have eternal life. God is smiling on you because he really loves you. But then I separated you from him. So Jesus came from heaven and died for all your sins. He is risen, he is alive.
is by grace that you have been saved. Oh, it's by faith. It's a gift from the Lord. Oh, it is by grace that you have been saved. Oh, it's by faith. It's a gift from the Lord. God, He loves me. Yes, I know. But how sad. Jesus came and died for me. I receive him, now I am worshiping God and I'm sure you do too. Close your eyes and sing to him. He is right there with you. I'm going to say the lyrics for you so you can close your eyes and just think about Jesus and sing this for him with all your heart. Amen. Oh Jesus, we are here to worship you. You are the light of our world. You could be Jesus. 
man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark, one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. How can an old man go back inside his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of heaven without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say, you must be born again. It's not enough to be good. You have to be born again. Nicodemus was a very good and honest man. Everybody who knew him admired him, as he always told the truth and did what was right. It was difficult to find someone like him, as he appeared to have no weaknesses. He was very impressed with the miracles Jesus performed, and so he went to speak to him. Jesus told Nicodemus that even being a good and honest man, he needed to be born again. He was surprised because he thought he would have to return to his mother's womb. Jesus then explained it was not this type of birth he was speaking of. Jesus said that the life of God could be born in his heart because he is born into the hearts of those that believe that Jesus is the Son of God. If it were possible to return to your mother's womb and be born again, even if you had returned 10, 20, or even 100 times, you would still need to be born again. Let's see why. To be born again is to receive the life of God in your heart. The new birth which Jesus spoke to Nicodemus about is to believe and confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. When you do this, the life of God enters into your heart. On the outside, your body doesn't change. You continue looking the same. But on the inside, everything changes. The Lord now lives within you, and you are truly His Son, because you have the same type of life as God, God's eternal life. Can you answer these questions quickly? What does an orange produce? Oranges. What does a pear seed produce? Pears. And a lemon seed? Lemons. What do we produce? People. Each species produces according to its seed. So how are children of God born? From God's seed. God's seed is the life of God we receive when we believe and confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. When we receive the life of God inside us, it means we have been born again. Actually, God Himself is born within us. He comes to live in our hearts. Isn't this incredible? Mankind can only reproduce human life, but Jesus gives us a life that comes from God. If you want to receive the life of God inside of you, repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I open up my heart to receive you in my life. Plant your seed in me and make me a new person. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I don't just want to be good. I want to have eternal life with you, Lord. Amen. If you repeat that prayer with me, you are a child of God. Did you know? 
It is so important that all of us keep the Word of God in our hearts. And this is why each week we learn and memorize a Bible verse. We are now going to learn this week's Bible verse with Ludmilla, Adriana and Matthew. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 3. John chapter 3 verse 3. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 3. John chapter 3 verse 3. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3 verse 3. John chapter 3 verse 3. everyone I want to know if you've been listening you will have five seconds to answer the following questions are you ready here we go question number one what was the name of the good man that went to talk with Jesus it's Nicodemus question number two Jesus said that it's not enough to be good. You have to be born again. But what does this mean? Whoever is not born again will never be able to live without God. Question number three. The man he met with Jesus was a good man. Was this enough for him to be saved? No. How are you guys getting on? I bet you're doing really great. Question number four. What did Jesus say Nicodemus had to do in order to be saved? Be born again. Question number five. How can people be born again? By receiving the life of God in their hearts. Well done, everybody. We've learned so much in today's lesson. Guess what? I think Henesis has a game for you. Goodbye. Hi everyone! Do you want to play a game with me? This game is called Spot the Difference. So what you have to do is spot five differences in the image that is going to come on the screen. So now you have to pause your video. Time's up! Now we're going to see what the five differences were. Well done! Thank you so much for playing this game with me. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And remember, God's seed is the life of God we receive when we believe and confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour. We can't wait for next time. See you soon. Bye! We are the vine kids. Bye bye. We are the vine kids. 
拜拜。